So now we're on to the final project now, and this is the file metadata microservice. And to get started with this, just open the repository link, click code here, and then copy this. And then in glitch, click new project, import from GitHub, and just paste it into here. Now, this one is actually um, much simpler than the other two. All it has is a form here, and then you can choose a file from your file system to upload. And what it does is when you upload it, it returns you a JSON object that specifies a name, the type of image and the size, which is the most important part here. And that's all we need to do here. So uh, just wait for this to start up. It will take some time. Uh, we have just two user stories here. So we have, I can submit a form data object that includes a file upload. And when I submit something, I will receive the file size in bytes in the JSON response. That's it. So if, we don't even need to worry about the other two fields. We just need to worry about the size. So now that we've got this imported, I'm just going to call this something like FCC upload or something like that. Um, file up metadata. Let's give it a description. And this would will only take you like 15 minutes to do. It's, it's very simple. Um, so if we just paste the uh, live app link in here, this is where the um, project will live. And you can just go ahead and paste in the solution here and then click I've completed. And as you can see, there's still zero testing whatsoever, but we're still going to do it properly. So we have it ready to go now. Now, if you look at this uh, readme.md here, it's there's a hint here and it says that to handle file uploading, you should use the multi package. So just click on this link. Um, preferably click on it in a new tab and what it will do is it'll take you to the NPM page for multi and that's going to be our basically our docs for this and the first thing you want to do is if you look in package.json multi hasn't been installed by default so we need to install it so just click tools and then terminal here and I'm just going to open this up in a new page so we can see it and our first step here is to in, um, install multi so that we can use it and as you can see from the npm page, the package name is just multi. So in here, you just want to do npm install multi like this, and then press enter. And what this will do is it'll go ahead and fetch the latest version of multi, and it will install it into our project. And sometimes these can take some time. Oh no, this one's quite quick. And then you also want to run a command here called refresh, just so we can ch see the changes from the terminal that have been updated in... Um, this. So now, as you can see, if we look at package.json, we can see that Malta has now been installed. So the next thing to do is, in order to use it in our code, which is in server.js, we have to require it. So just go to server.js here, and you just want to say something like let Malta equals require, and then Malta as a string. And now we have Malta ready to go. So we can start looking at cre um, working on this form to capture the file now. So the final step we need to do now is to capture the file from this form and then get some details about it. And we're going to be using the Malta for this. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at views and index.html and just look at this form here. And as you can see, it has an input of type file with the name of up file and the form is a post method and this action here is the root. So we wanna create a post root for this um, action right here. So down here, just do app because app is a, an express app they've created for us. So we can do app.post and as a first argument we can give the root. So that's, so we've created a post root for the form. Next thing we wanna do is as a second argument before our own middleware function, we wanna run some multi middleware. And if we scroll down here, um, the way you cr use Malta is first you have to create an instance of Malta or an instance of a file uploader, I guess you could say. And the way you do that is you simply call a method here called Malta. And inside this, you would normally give it an option with stuff like, um, so let's have a look. We have like destination or storage or filters of which files can be accepted. And you can do something like storage and then put the folder you want to store it at or whatever like that. But um, 
it's, it says that if you omit the options objects, the files will be kept in memory and never written to the disk. And we don't need to actually upload our files to the disk because all we have to do is return information about the files. So we can just get rid of this options object and leave this as multi. So this multi here is now an instance of a file uploader. And there's a method for uploading a single file from a form. Um, that's just called single right here. So it says accept a single file with the name field name inside it and it will be stored in the request object in a field called file. So uh, in so we want to call the single method on this instance of multi. And if we look at the form in index.html, we can see that the input with the type of file, so this um, upload button, is actually called up file right here. So we want to copy this. And we, this is the, um, uh, I guess, form input that we want to take the file upload from. So what this will do is it'll take that file, it'll put it in a um, field in the request called file with some other properties. And we'll have a look at that in a second. So the final thing we want to do is write our own middleware function that takes in a request and a response. And for now, I'm just going to return an empty object just so it doesn't crash. And what we're going to do here is, oops, um, what we're going to do here is just have a look at the um, request.file part just to see what Malta has done for us. So if I just open the log here and then just clear that, and um, I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to choose the file here and let's put this one in and then press upload. We can see we get the empty JSON object back and that's completely okay. Um, and if we look at this request.file here, we can see that Malta has put the field name as upfile, the original name, which is the name of our file, encoding the MIME type, which is the format. And we also have this buffer. So this buffer is actually like, I guess the file, but it's not really readable for humans. Um, and then we have the size, which is the size of the file in bytes. So we have all the information we need right here. So again, what Malta has done is it's looked in the upfile input in the form and it's picked out the file that's been attached to this by um, the, the HTML form uploader and then it's put that file into the buffer field of this request.file and it's also filled the request.file with some other information for us that we can use. So let's look at the example now and look at what we need to return. So if I upload a file into the example like this and then click upload. We can see that we have a field called name with the name of the file first. So what I'm going to do here is create a response object. And I'm going to set this to an empty object for now. And then I'm going to say response object and then set the name field. And if we look here, that's been stored in a field called original name. So we can say this is requested.file.original name. Then we want to set the um, the type, and you want to say response object type like this, and we can say this is request dot file dot, and then the field here that um, Malta has created for us is called the mime type, so we can put that in. Finally, we have to set the size field, and the size is in a field that Malta has created called size here. So we can say request.file.size. And finally, we just, instead of returning an empty object, we can return this response object back. Sorry, this one should be response object. If I save that and try again, my bad. Um, yeah, just if we try it again now, we can see that we have the name of the file, we have the type and we have the size. This is the most important part here. So. Now what you can do is just click the I've completed it. Again, it was working before, but we now have all the tests passing. And what I'm just going to do is go ahead and style this form a little bit and then come back. So what I've just done now is just added some CSS styling and I've just removed some stuff from this form and I've just made it as simple as possible. So we still have the functionality that hasn't changed. So you can just click this button and you can get this stuff back. Um, so that should be everything for, for this. So you can just go ahead and submit that and click I've completed and then just make sure you click submit here. And what you can do now is you can just go ahead. That should have been the last project. So 
you can go down to API microservices and you can claim that certification now. And that's the end of the API microservices course.